Hi, Rhonda here again with the Dollar Tree Hall. Um, it's a uh, Wednesday evening and it's kind of rainy, yucky here. Uh, kind of chilly, not too bad though, I shouldn't complain. So, oops, I got a hair that wants to flop around here. Don't mind me and my hair. Anyways, <laughs> I just thought I'd pop on and show you some of my purchases I've made in the last few days or so. Um, let's see, nothing new, same old stuff, different day. No, I'm kidding. Um, just trying to, you know, get ready for Christmas a little bit on right now. Well, we still can with some time, you know, with the weather, hopefully staying decent and everybody just hopefully feeling better and, um, kind of going on with their their everyday lives again, I hope. I don't know. We've had some scares with COVID, um, my youngest son and my um, husband also. And so we've been nursing them through and it's um, something, something else. It's, um, it's like the flu, but like a cold and a flu. And uh, the youngest one has the cough and um, the body aches and the no sense of smell or taste. And the uh, hubby has the, had the fever and just feeling general um, flu, flu-like symptoms. So very feeling bad and tired, exhausted, tired, he said. So, but I've been trying to doctor him up and keep myself healthy too, thank goodness. Um, my dad, trying to keep him healthy and, and away from pretty much the, keeping everybody in their own little areas, so. Um, stay in quarantine. I have went out a few times, so I wear my mask, my gloves, I'm very protected and I don't get, I do the social distancing because I don't want to have some issues with, you know, anyone, heaven forbid, if, if I would happen to be, you know, contagious or infected, but I am not, so knock on wood here, but um, anyways, just thought I'd share my, um, what we've been doing. So a lot of orange juice, a lot of vitamin C, a lot of vitamin D. Um, I found some with zinc, uh, the elderberry with zinc, and I'm loading everybody up with a lot of vitamins and vitamin C, D, Z, all of them, the whole alphabet. So, and soups, 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 soups. So now is the time especially at Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree has quite a few good buys on their soups again so and and they're getting a lot in stock so I think that's really good too but anyways I did find a Nomi cup actually a known cup I'm sorry Beth I, uh, I have to giggle at that one Elizabeth from uh, Chi Town Girls she always calls them Nomi's but they're, this is so cute. And this one is going to a, a relative that is supposed to be here helping me with the Dollar Tree hauls, but right now she's having a little bit of a issue herself. So please keep her in your prayers. But anyways, enough about this, my family and what's happening in this. It's the gnome for the holidays, and that was the only one I could find, but these are nice. I mean, these, they have the screw-on widths, and they're, they're insulated, so I believe they would hold some, you know, something warm or, or cool. Um, it has the straw that actually has the, so it doesn't move her out of the, the whole area. And I just thought she'd get a kick out of that, so. I'm trying to make her up a little gift basket for Christmas, so she watches this. There you go, Patty. <laughs> Anyways, and then let's see, what else? Oh, I found these, these are cute. I didn't really know what they were until I actually looked at them. And these are little photo prop kits. And I thought those are really nice. And, and I thought when the kids get here, we're all gonna do our little pictures with some cute little ideas and stuff. So reindeer, Santa. Uh, elf hat and some snowman hat and some presents and I just thought they were just too cute so for a dollar why not let's see what else here I did find an ornament I don't know why it caught my eye but I just thought it was so pretty just in the store just feeling a little flashy in there 
So I thought that was really pretty. And that's going in in the gnome, the gnome cup. <laughs> I'm getting, anyway, the gnome cup. So that'll go, Patty's making her tree kind of a silver and white and metallic and it's really gonna be pretty ugly. I did find these. I don't know, I've never seen these at our Dollar Tree. So I do, I believe they're new this year. It's got the wooden, like the little MDF um, cardboard type, heavier than cardboard type. Anyways, tree in the back and the red truck, you guys. Isn't it just cute? They had two and I bought two. I thought, you know, I'm just gonna pick them up because I know one day I am going to use these for something. But I love the fact that they say Merry Christmas and they actually have like the berries, the berry trim on it for, um, for decoration on the tree. I thought that was just too cute. And there's gonna be so many things you can do with these. So I am hoping I can find some, some upload or download some of these crafts that I really, really want to do because I love to do some of these crafts. I did find another sign. Um, this house believes in Santa. Yes, we do. And I thought that was so cute again with the little stocking on the stocking hat and Santa hat and this little sleigh down here with the tree or the deer. I just thought that was adorable. And it's got such pretty coloring, really, if you see it in there. So I picked up a couple of those. Everything I do pick up, I try to pick up at least one or two uh, because I do share with a lot of like my, I have one other rethink sister-in-law that her and I like to buy each other things that we can make and she might need. And so when she gets here or when I go there, we try to mishmash our stuff together so we can enjoy what our Dollar Tree has here, or even our Dollar General, because they do not have Dollar Generals where she's at. So when we do get together, I try to find things that she hasn't seen, and she does the same for me, that some of their Dollar Trees have that we do not have. I did pick up some of these, the wired garland ties. This first time our Dollar Tree has had them in a, in a while. I know they get them, but I believe they went out very quickly. So when I found them, I thought, I'm gonna buy them because I do have an artificial, I have a couple, little, well, two little artificial trees from the Dollar Tree that I am going to decorate this year. And I do wanna use these in there. And they're very good too for wreath tie-ons. So if you're doing a, a greenery wreath and that, so I thought I would go ahead and just buy those and have them on hand. You get, uh, how many in here? 12 pieces. And you know, you don't really have to, you, you could cut some of these in half even if you needed them because you know, they are pretty long ties. Then I did find, of course, the garland. This is 15 feet of garland. And you know, it's really not the best of garland, but it will suffice. And I found that you can wrap this twice. So like if you take your lights, I bought four of them and I'm planning on using at least three so I thought I'd take the third one the fourth one and wrap it around to fill in where the lights and everything go so but I thought those are really cute for a dollar I will buy my garland there and they're not that, that scratchy garland either it's not it's not it's a good garland let me see that was in that bag try not to do any bag rustling here because I'm good at that Let's see, what else is up here? Anything else up here that I found? Oh, let's just dig out of the bag. Let's just do that. I did find, of course, with the times right now, our cold multi-symptom tablets here. I, I've had to use these pretty much every day. Uh, but I believe it helps to keep everything open and my sinuses from getting too, um, upset so and i do like them they're cold multi-symptoms and they uh there's 12 in each one and basically they have the acetaminophen and the guafenicin and uh the dextromorphine and the phenyl phenylin phenyl anyways that other one and they do really help especially if you have if you're prone to sinus headaches try these 
I, I would, I will recommend those. Let's see. And another thing, what else did I find? Oh, I've been thinking we've been needing to soak our feet. Found some Epsom salt. This is just the regular, the natural one there. And so for a dollar, I thought I'd pick us up a couple bags just to have on hand for our feet. I did find Jim some work socks. And these are the mossy oak socks. I don't know if he's gonna like them or not because he giggles at me whenever I, he looks at me like, what are you doing? Me and my socks, leave my socks alone. But anyways, these are the double cushion. They're super cushioned and they, they're by mossy oak. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna just give him a shot for a dollar. He wears them in his boots, you know, so I gave him three of them. So, you know, what the heck? They don't work, we'll find someone that'll be able to use them. Found some sassy nails. These are cute, sassy and chic nails. I, you know, sassy and chic, I guess, or chic, I don't know. Anyways, um, I, I'm still going to try to put some nails on one day. I don't know when I will, but I might surprise myself. Maybe for Christmas, that's what I think all the time, maybe for Christmas. So, I did find some candy. They had their Lifesavers hard candies out. Um, these are the holiday mix ones and they have the apple and cherry and peppermint in here. And these are 3.2 ounces. So I thought we'd give those a little try. Along with, I do buy this there. I love the Goya. Uh, this is the actual um, powdered chicken bouillon and I use this all the time in chicken recipes and it has the best flavor if you need to spice up your chicken a little bit with some flavor it's not hot it's an actual chicken bouillon and it just really makes the chicken's taste come alive I promise you and then of course these little buggers wintergreen mints Gotta love them. I don't know, I'm so addicted to them. I'm almost afraid to say that. Shh, don't tell anybody. Then some hard candy. You know, dad likes to have a little bit of a piece of candy or something after he eats. So I thought, you know, these are not bad. You get three pieces, and, oh, excuse me, and you get 60 calories in them, and the sugars are a little higher. They're 15, but I don't know. For, for some hard candy, it doesn't hurt to have them on hand. Uh, just, just because. They're assorted fruit flavors. And it looks like they've got all the little fruits in there. Lemon, grape, cherry, orange. I would say maybe pineapple or... No, it's probably lemon, I'm sure. And I'm not sure what the green one would be. I don't know yet. Maybe apple. Green apple. I don't know. Anyways, I did find some wrapping paper. I was pretty shocked to find this. This is the 40 square feet of it. And um, usually we've been getting just the taller ones, the littler ones, but this is so cute. It actually has puppy dogs on there. And it says a very merry, jolly, just, just, just all the different wording and everything on there. Joy and the snowflakes, but I just thought they were so cute. So with the puppies. And then, of course, I did have to get some llamas. They did have llama wrapping paper in there. Llama, and I'm not sure what that is, but maybe a cactus? I'm not sure. Mittens, I do see that. But these cute little llamas, I, I thought those were adorable for the girls, you know, and their stuff. This one, it's got someone's name written all over it. And yes, I will wrap their gifts in this because, just because I think they're so cute. Little donuts, aren't they adorable? This one even has a little bow on it. Isn't that cute? But yeah, so I thought those were nice. And they're 40 square feet, so there's a lot of paper on here for a dollar. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And then I got some penguins. So, yeah, I, I, I'm getting excited and I'm hoping everybody's healthy by then or well, they're getting on the mend right now, thank goodness. So keep them in your prayers. 
Um, I'm saying lots of prayers for all the families infected with this again, or even on this second wave, or or even the first time with it. But uh, say some prayers for the family that um, that is uh, grieving today. Um, that is well grieving the grieving families, I should say, because we've. Uh, in the process have found out that someone in, in um, our youngest son's area there has passed away so from this uh, horrible illness so anyways if you can please uh, take good care of yourself wash your hands wear your masks wear your mask I I used to think oh my gosh I can't wear this mask I can't I can't breathe I can't wear it and now I'm beginning to think, you know what? Thank goodness we're wearing the masks because it could be worse if this is the way it's going. And the, you know, you just don't want to be responsible for anyone else getting sick. You know, you really do not want that. I don't want that on me. So uh, just make sure you're washing your hands, social distancing, staying apart, basically when you're in the stores and that be courteous and kind because there's a lot of people out there now that are having some hard times the grocery stores are just getting crazy we have a lot of food shortages coming up here and and another issue is is that you know the pricing on foods has just went crazy so if you can shop at your dollar stores and your Dollar Trees, you know? I mean, they do offer some very good selections for for pricing and, and that on some things. I mean, I'm not saying everything is a good buy, but I do know that mo most of the things that you would need and that sometimes you can pick up to keep on your shelves, your pantry shelves there and, and, and store a little bit for your family. I, I really believe in that right now, especially. So um, my prayers go out to everybody, like I said, and just keep, um, keep smiling. Know that this too shall pass. So um, just keep us, keep everybody going and excited about uh, the holidays coming up. We have Halloween, not sure about the trick-or-treaters, but Hopefully, they'll, they'll get to trick-or-treat a few of them. If not, we, you know, I know some of ours, our family members are going to do trick-or-treating in their own home. So, they're going to set it up that their kids will be able to go to different rooms and knock on the doors. And it's a cute little idea. So, always think about the littles anyways. You know, the little kids always need to have some enjoyment and, and some happiness and make good memories. Anyways, take good care, and hopefully, hopefully, this you, you like what you see, and you might come back, subscribe if you'd like, and I shall be back. Thank you, and God bless.